What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, I'm going to talk about modern tkinter design with TTK Bootstrap. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at modern GUI design with something called TTK Bootstrap. Now, I've talked about different sort of modern libraries out there in the past, custom TTK for instance. This is a little bit different. This is very complete and uh, very robust, whereas custom TTK is still kind of new and getting some of the kinks worked out of it works great, but still doesn't support all the widgets and things like this. This supports all the widgets and then some adds some new ones. It's really cool. So we're going to take a look at it in this video. We're not going to actually write any code in this video. I'm just going to show you what is involved in this. And then in the next couple of videos, we'll get into it in more detail, but I just want to show you what this is and uh, hopefully get you guys excited about this because this is very, very cool. So this is TTK Bootstrap. And if you're familiar with Bootstrap, it's a CSS framework for websites. It's probably one of the most popular CSS frameworks. In fact, if you go to getbootstrap.com, you can see, you know, here's a page on Bootstrap buttons, for instance. You have this sort of very distinct look to things. Uh, if you look at nav bars, you know, you can have nav bars for websites, very distinct looking thing. One of the most popular CSS frameworks on the internet. So basically what this package does is it takes that and sort of applies it to Kinter, which is very cool. So you can see, I've got just a couple of examples pulled up here. This is a dark theme. Uh, there's dark themes and light themes. So you can see uh, very cool, the buttons here. In fact, let's try and there we go, zoom in a little bit. So you can see there's like dashes around the buttons. You can have outlines or solid. These things look more modern. These things look more modern. Your check boxes and your toggle switches look better. Even the entry widgets and the spin boxes look better. The date picker looks cool. Very cool. So you can see there's all kinds of different themes to choose from. Uh, <laughs> you can see this one's called Vapor, very purpley. Uh, you can check out the light themes. There's a bunch of them. Very cool. Flatly. Journal. Litera. And What's great about this is you can pick a theme or you can build your own and there's resources here to actually build your own theme. So we'll get into all of that in the future. Minty, right? Pulse, Sandstone. So in this video, I want to just sort of walk you through what this is, how you can get started and all the good things. So just head over to ttkbootstrap.readthedocs.io. And if you click on getting started, this is how you pip install it. Just your regular pip install. TTK bootstrap from your terminal, we'll get it done. In fact, if we head over to our terminal, I could just pip install TTK bootstrap. And that's really all we need to do. Boom, boom, and it's ready to go. So if we click on the tutorial here and kind of look into this, using it is very simple. It's very much like using your regular Kinter widgets. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here. And when you import this thing, it, the docs are telling you to import TTK bootstrap as TTK. I don't recommend that you do that because you know, we use TTK stuff for other things, the TTK library that comes with Kinter. I, I don't think you want to name it that. So I would name it something like uh, TB or something to T Kinter bootstrap or TTK B something like that, just to distinguish it as bootstrap and not TTK, but you could do it as TTK if you want, like the docs say, you also want to import these. I'll talk about those in a second here. And if we come down here to use these things, a regular button, we would just call a button. Well, instead of that, you call a TTK or TTK B, whatever you named it up here, button, right? And then instead of it giving it a style like you would with your widget, you give it a boot style. So instead of using style for all your widgets, you use boot style. That's really kind of the only thing. And you can see they're using these constants here. We've imported these constants. You can also uh, at, use different things. You can use quotation marks like we've done in regular videos all the time. In fact, you could see, you know, you could see you could use quotation marks with dashes, without dashes, with with spaces, without spaces, with commas, without commas, or just the constant capital letters, whatever you feel comfortable with. So that's kind of nice. And really, that's sort of all there is to it. Everything else is just like using Bootstrap as normal for the most part. So when you start it, you could create a regular root TK instance, or you could use a window instance which is slightly different and they kind of recommend. So we would probably use that. And like I said, we're going to get into this in the next few videos. We're going to start building stuff out with this. In this video, I just want to kind of give you a very brief overview. Uh, and to pick a theme, it's, it's just as easy as whenever you either, if you use a window instance, you just pass in the theme equals and then the name of the theme. Or if you use the regular old way of doing it, you just create a style equals 
ttk.style and then pass in the name. Like I said, we're going to probably be using this window thing going forward when we use this, uh, but we'll get into all that later. And that's kind of all there is to it. Now, if you come up here to the top and look at the style guide, you could see all of the different things you could do with this. So right off the bat, the colors that this offers are the basic bootstrap colors, this sort of blue, green, light blue, orange, red, light and dark, right? I'm sure you can override those, but those are the basic ones that come with Bootstrap, right? So if you've used Bootstrap on websites, you're familiar with this color scheme already. Very cool. And I'm just going to go through here and show you what these all look like. So the check buttons, these are the basic check buttons. Very cool. The combo box, much more modern looking. Uh, date entry, a little calendar picker tool. Very cool. Uh, there's a date picker pop-up with a calendar. Very awesome, right? Uh, just your regular entry box you could colorize and do things with. That's cool. There's this flood gauge, which is not in regular Kinter, right? Sort of a progress bar button-y looking thing. Very cool, right? Just one of the few things that are extra in this over regular Kinter. Uh, it's got your basic frame. Uh, it's got your basic label, your basic label frame, right? But you can colorize these label frames, which is very cool. Yeah, you know, menu buttons look better. There's this cool meter, right? Which is not regular in Kinter. So that's cool. That's a little extra thing. You could have, you can see it has dashes or solid or whatever. Very cool. Notebooks, sort of the uh, tab thing in Kinter, but a little more modern looking. Uh, Pane window, move those around. Progress bars look better, right? Very cool. You could also have striped ones. Definitely more modern looking, right? Radio buttons different colors. Uh, you can have a scale. Zoop, zoop. Very nice. Irregular scroll bar. A separator, the most popular Kinter widget, the separator. <laughs> it's just a line. Uh, size grip where you can like move things around. Uh, uh, very cool. Uh, your spin boxes. We've looked at these. Tree view, right? Boom. Very more modern, much more modern looking tree views. Very cool. And then there's some stuff on legacy widgets. We don't really care all that much about that. So you can click here and read on the API. There's even more stuff in here. So if you want to do a color chooser, there's information on that. There is color drop dialog. Very cool. All kinds of cool stuff in here. There's a regular dialog box, font dialog. Pop this thing up. Very useful. Message boxes look better, right? Message dialogue, query box, this little thing. Very cool. Just all kinds of stuff. You can look in styles, colors, theme definitions. And there's an, also a style builder, right? This is a different app that you need to pip install. We'll get into all of that too. Very cool. Helps you build your own styles and themes and things like that. Uh, here's some stuff on boot style. Anyway, all kinds of cool stuff you could look through here if you're interested. We're going to be going through all of this because I think this is very cool. I'm going to be building a bunch of videos on this in the coming you know, days and weeks. Probably create a course on it too. But uh, very, very cool. Lots of fun. Very easy to use. And uh, definitely check it out. So that's TTK Bootstrap. Very cool. Like I said, we're going to be getting into this in the coming videos. And it should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to grab your totally free copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book in PDF form. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll shoot that right on over to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. Get access to all my Kinter courses and all my future courses for one low price. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.